What's up, guys? Machete Panda here, and I am back with Transport Fever 2. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be getting unlimited money without cheating. That's right. Without cheating, we will have unlimited money in this game. And I'm going to show you how to do it legit. All right? But first, for this game, we need to find a map with the perfect conditions. Let's go to free game. The type of map we want is a map that gets us early access to vehicles that can travel at long distances at very effective prices. That happens to be boats. So we're going to start very early in the map in the time frame and we need a map that takes us from the top of the map to the bottom of the map through waterways because the further you travel in this game the more money you get. And we're going to use that to our advantage. So the map we have on the screen here this is a pretty good map. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can take advantage of this map. All right, guys, <clears throat> let's take a look at this map. Now, some features, I'm going to pause it right here while we take a look at the map. Now, features we're looking for. <clears throat> we're looking for industries that can send and receive within the same production chain. So oil is a good example. An oil well can send raw crude to a refinery and the refinery can receive the raw crude. And that's what we're looking for, that link right there. All right, links like that. And a, uh, another good example would be here, the sawmill and the forest. The forest provides timber and sends it to the sawmill to be turned into lumber. So that's a send and there's a receive. So we're looking for that and we're looking for it along the waterway. So uh, we have some rocks, which are sends. We have some iron ore mines, which are sends. We have some oil wells that are sends. Now, what do we have that are receives? So we have uh, the construction materials plant, which receives rock. So that's good. Uh, oil, we have a refinery down here. We have two refineries. These receive oil, so that's good. So we have a couple of send and receives right in the same proximity. Now, they won't be sending and receiving to each other in this area. We need to find something that matches way up at the top of the map. So we need to find <clears throat> oil refineries. And I don't see any way up here, but I do see wood. So we got some wood way up here. And we do have a receiver for the steel mill, so that's good. But I don't think we have a receiver down here for iron ore. Oh, we do. Iron ore is the perfect example. I think that's what we're going to use, iron ore. So... What we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that this coal mine sends coal out down the river to this steel mill. And the steel mill receives it. And then the boats will come over and they'll pick up iron ore. And they will send it up, up to the top to be received by this steel mill. Now, this steel mill is very far away. But there's something we don't care about. We don't care about how much is received. We don't care if it goes away and disappears. We just want to receive the money when we drop it off. So if it gets all uh, vanishes um, before it gets to this steel mill, that's fine with us. So let's get started on this. We're going to start by coming down here. And let's just go ahead and build a little old road going right from the lake over to, and I think this is the closest, I believe. So we got this nice road. We got to get buildings now. So boats are great because they're early game. And, oh dear me, this is much too far away. This is much, much too far away.
That's unfortunate. But I'm not going to let it stop me. We're just going to come over here. Going to plant our boat, our boat spot. Going to come over here. We're going to plant the other boat spot right there. There we go. And then um, I'm just taking a quick look around to see what else was down here. Um, if there are any other iron ore spots. There's none down there. There's a, a bunch in between, but none down there. Now, the next thing we want to do is connect up to this location. And just going to come right in here. We're going to just draw a road to this location, just like that. Then we're going to drop in. And this is a great spot because it can just start picking, picking stuff up right away. Boom. Drop that right there. And then we're going to put another one over here. So <laughs> this will send coal down to that um, mill, steel mill. And the other one, the iron ore mine down there will send iron ore up to this uh, dock where we will receive it and send it to the steel mill so that we could have a complete our production chain so uh with that said we have a problem down here a minor problem this location is just a little too far so i'm going to be for something i would normally re-roll if you guys weren't here but because we've gone so far i'm just going to do something i normally wouldn't do which is just to make a little little actually you know what'll be cheaper than this if we just build one of these puppies right here. All right. Pick up here, drop off here. Pretty simple. And then we're going to need a building because we're going to need to drop in a bunch of carriages in here. <clears throat> and I mean an absolutely ton of carriages. So we're going to want like 16. And we're all going to want to assign them all to that new line. All right, now it's time to work on these guys right over here. We need to connect him up to the mill, and they are within distance because you click on it, it highlights. And then we need to do much larger vessels. So these things need to take in much, much larger vessels. This is all no good. We want a nice big dock with a nice big landing. And we want that to be true for all of these. So let me do that now. All right, so we've got this hooked up. Now all we need to do is just uh, set up a little carriage and what we're going to do for this one, we don't care if we lose anything out of this one. We don't care if all the materials are stolen because it's overloaded and people are losing track of the materials. I don't know what the lore is for why materials would be stolen like that, but you know, that's the lore. So I'm going to just connect this up. And then we're just going to come down here and we're going to drop off the materials. It doesn't even matter because we don't care if we lose these materials. And I'll show you how little we care about these materials in a second. We're going to connect there to there. All right. All right. 
And what we're going to use is just one. We just need to make a connection. That's all we need to do. We don't really care otherwise. All right, so he's out of there, and I'm actually going to sell this. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Get rid of it. Get your money. Now he's just going to go back and forth. So now we need to create the boat route. So the boat route is going to go from picking up coal to dropping it off down at the bottom of the map here. And then it's going to need to pick up iron. And then it's going to need to drop that iron off at the top of the map here. All right. So first we're picking up coal. And then we're dropping off coal. And then at the next one, we're picking up iron, right? Iron. And then we're dropping off iron. Now, when it picks up and drops off, we want to pick up a full load on both locations, the full pickup. At, during those pickups, we want to pick up full load. Now for our last step. <clears throat> our last step is to actually connect these with boats. So I like to put the boats somewhere in the middle. I think this is about the middle, I think. I think. I like to think. It looks, looks like it. Looks close enough. Let's go ahead and put a little boathouse in here. We're going to drop boats on the line, and we're going to get them busy. Let's take out a bigger loan. We're going to borrow as much money as we can. We want as many boats as we can on this line. So what do we got here for options? This guy only car carries fuel. This guy carries coal. This guy carries all. These two are both 70 capacity. But this guy has a top speed of 16. I'm going to take this guy. And we're just going to buy as many of these guys as we can. There we go. He's, yeah, this guy's a little cheaper, but I want, I want speed. So, And now let's put him on the boat line. There we go. And let's get started. So what's going to happen <clears throat> is we're going to lose a lot of money. In fact, we're probably going to be down about... I don't know, I would say 4 million, 5 million, maybe $8 million uh, by the time this, this is by the time we start making money. And that's okay. Because once these are full and they start landing, they're going to be dropping off about 2 million to 3 million a pop. Just sit tight and watch. I will go ahead and fast forward a little and uh, I will also do a quick cut and um yeah you can take a look and and see uh exactly what they're doing Well, guys, we're about halfway through our journey here, and uh, we are about to load up <clears throat> and uh, get some get some materials to sell. So as you can see, the max this thing holds is 600. Um, this puppy is going to take 70. Each of the, these guys take 70, and then they have to go back down. So we're ha about halfway, and we've already lost 3 million. Don't worry. That is going to all come back to us in no time. 
So these guys are loading up now. I don't know how far away these other guys are down here. If they're already loading up or what. Uh, all right, so I didn't have the, the, the boathouse exactly center. That's okay. But here we go. These guys are just working their tails off, literally, because they're horses. And we could probably do with one less horse. It looks like we could do with one less horse. Nearly the perfect number. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. We're going to let them load up. We're going to let these guys up here come down. And uh, when all is said and done, um, we're going to be making quite a bit of money. So uh, we'll do a quick time lapse and we'll come back to this. All right, guys, so it's been a little while and these boats are just making cash. Look at this, we're already up to 37 million. So I think the next step is just to expand some more, you know, and let these boats keep going. So let's buy a few more of these boats. What do we say? I think that's a good number right there. Boom. We'll just let them keep going, keep earning us some money. And let's see how high we can get that number. We're only in 1866. It's 16 years later. And here we are, 32 million. And we can repay our, all of our loan. We can repay, all, we repay the whole loan. No loan, no more interest rates. Look at that. We still have 22 million left over. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's see what happens here. Oh my goodness, this thing's filling up by quite a bit. Do we have upgrades yet for these guys? Mm hmm. No upgrades yet. Nope. No upgrades yet. Um. There are gaps between them, and that's my fault, because I didn't think we needed that many. So I'm just gonna drop out a few more. We'll just fill in those gaps a little bit more. All right, it's 1866, and we have diesel shovels. What's going on here? This seems silly. This seems silly. Diesel shovels. Give me a break. All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, let this run a little longer and see what happens. Right, guys so there you have it we're at a quarter of a billion um the year is 1904 and uh yeah so we had some time pass by we've got upgrade made some upgrades here with our vehicles 
Uh, also upgraded our shops here. And this money's just going to keep rolling in. And as the technology advances, so too will our ships. And as you can see here, we've already made some upgrades to our ships, which is fantastic. And um, yeah, just makes just means that much more money, that much more money coming in each time. So uh, what should I do with all this money now that I've got it? I guess I could like develop a supply line that would feed one of these uh, cities or something. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's do something with the money and we'll be right back. What's up, guys? So yeah, this is the the result. End result. <clears throat> I actually was playing, let the letting the game uh, play through while I was building out this track, and I could not spend the money fast enough. Look at this. We're up another one hundred million dollars, and uh, yeah. So that's the bonus of these guys right here having ships going long distance. We have unlimited money basically. And, uh, yeah, we're going to start supplying this little town right here. It needs bread and fuel. We've got our fuel production chain lined up. And we've got our bread production chain lined up. We've got some extra over here we can pull in once this guy gets going up even more. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, guys. So I've been at this for a while. Um, and the last hour and a half, I've actually been playing the game, not just setting stuff up and waiting for the money to roll in. And I've been trying to burn through this money. And I have set up a lot of transportation. I've just been spending the money while the game's running this whole time. And I cannot get this money to go down as you can see we're at 1.5 billion and uh the money just keeps rolling in so i would say it's a success um infinite money all the way this is how you do it starting with these little ships and you saw how we started we started very early on um we started getting that money rolling in right there so yeah um i had a lot of fun you see i've got quite the network going here trying to spend the money as much as possible start working my way further north but uh i just can't spend this money so 
Um, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you liked uh, learning about how you can have infinite money. Uh, please like, please subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.